we as a network and festivals in their local capacities, regional and national capacities, we believe that arts and culture play an essential role in building societies, uh, that arts and culture rooted deeply in the local context um, contribute to a change of mindset of people that come in touch with the artist. We are asking in the arts and cultural sector, is it really possible that arts and culture fight poverty? Or is it rather that arts and culture are at the basis of changing mindsets in order to avoid that poverty uh, exists and that poverty well, can be combated? I will play the, 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 my idealistic uh, notion about festivals, which are uh, very condensed artistic experience shared in an everyday life. And this is the moment where the artists and the society meet together. I don't believe that the artist could, could fight uh, global poverty. I think it's, a, it's an intellectual concept. I think the next step is really to accept it and to realize that we cannot uh, save uh, the society, but probably we can, we can save uh, um, an individual. And I believe that in the fragmented world we're facing more and more, the individual is the only stable point actually and how to create an individual and how to push away individuals' limits of understanding uh, would be probably the main preoccupation of the artists uh, tomorrow. I believe that it's not a question of producing only a good show or, or, or a good concert, uh, but it's a question of producing a good show or a good concert which takes place in spectator's hat or in spectator's stomach, or in spectator's imagination, somehow. So it, it implies as well the question of how we work with the audience, in terms of not just educating audience, but uh, guiding audience into daring, dreaming further on. And I address him, this guy, I address him as an individual, I address him not, a, not a, as a Muslim minority or a poor uh, minority, whatever, so I don't believe that we have to go to people and tell them, look, you're poor, but we're going to do our thing for, for you, and you would understand. No, we treat them as individuals, and, and this is what, what, is, what is a crucial attitude for, for the future, I, I believe. We should, not, we should not go to disabled people because they are disabled people. We should go to them because they are people. Uh, the point is that politicians will very easily give us up they don't know how to use the power of interna uh, international artistic uh, uh, scene and stage. We should try to uh, uh, underline that we are important from different reasons. And yes, I agree. We can't be important for the whole world. And not the whole world will appreciate what we do and uh, understand what we do, but we can have different groups who find this our work important and maybe even to some of them what we do will change the course of their lives. We're talking about a fight against poverty and social exclusion. Do you think that festivals could play a crucial role in uniting the value of arts and carrying out also a social work in terms of uh, engaging in these social values. Yeah, well, I don't think it's even a question. I think festivals are simply doing that. Biljana says, well, if politicians, if they, they could, they would get rid of us immediately. Most of them, I would most say, of most them. of them, not all of them, but most of them would get rid of festivals immediately because they don't see the immediate value because probably culture, uh, has been seen, or festivals, and some art festivals in particular, have, have been considered as elitist. We should make sure that politicians know they need us, not vice versa. I grew up with, with a, a motive that if you still have two coins, with one you pay for a bread that you still can eat that day, and with one you pay for a bunch of flowers. And as long as we can make politicians enthusiasts for that, I don't know what we're busy with. And it's also like we're busy with po poverty and exclusion, I think the, 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 the real poverty is the poverty in thinking that we, at the moment, everywhere in Europe are promoting. 
And it's like the richness is that we can fight and debate and we're not agreeing and have all different opinions and all different, that's the richness I think of, of Europe, that we're not one uh, unity of, of uniformity, that we go in, into one line and we march in one, two rhythms. I know we can march in 68 rhythms or uh, to, to speak in musical terms. Which are the doors that you think should be opened? When we speak about the public interest, we have to ask ourselves the question, how do we then show our social relevance? Politicians are very eager actually in, in, uh, in giving targets, in giving indicators, in giving a, a kind of measurement to festivals and to ask festivals to tick boxes and say, yes, I engage with so and so many poor people, yes, I engage with so and so many <coughs> disabled people. I think that we need to go uh, back to a direction where uh, not quantitative uh, evaluations and measurements are taken into account when public authorities give funding to, to, to festivals. How can we measure the sense or the value of the arts? How can we measure the, the well-being actually of people? How can we measure that somebody has changed his mind when he saw a piece of Galin uh, somewhere? How can we look into longer term impacts of festivals? How can we um, measure, for instance, cognitive uh, changes in people, people's minds? And more and more, the research and the academic field is following the practice, actually. And more and more tools are given from, from the uh, academic side. Researchers that relate, for instance, the level of access to culture and the level of participation in cultural life with the level of well-being. If you don't believe and the only thing you are going to sell to those people. Because that's, we're a bit afraid, it's like we're going, oh yeah, we're busy with art, I know it doesn't fit in your program, but still, <laughs> should we maybe try to do something? It's like if we don't believe that it's very important, and that if we don't go with that vision to those people, it's an idealistic vision, but it works for me already five years. And they have no time to be busy with art, they have no time to think a long time about it, so you have like 10 minutes to convince them that it's worth uh, investing something. Well, I think it's crucial, really crucial and very important to underline that uh, festivals nevertheless should remain a uh, public money responsibility. It means that, that the state should take <coughs> responsibility because in the moment when we, when we give up this, and, and the politicians say, yeah, yeah go, go and, and, and find money for your piece in, at McDonald's. Then, uh, then we are we're completely cooked and, uh, and McDonald's will, will probably give me your money, but he would like to have Hamlet uh, dressed as a donut. So, and then we have a problem. Very, this is very important. Uh, we should convince politicians that festivals should remain public responsibility. One is to provide this with a, with, a, with a certain commentary or with a certain alternative way where people could, could drive bicycles or, or, or sort of have an alternative way to attend a concert. But there is a space somewhere, and it's a mental space, uh, which we cannot measure, unfortunately. But we have to accept and assume the fact that we cannot measure this. But it, that, I'm sure there is this space where in spite of all the cultural, educational, social differences we have, we can meet without necessarily creating conflicts. And this is something which is a value which we should not uh, even explain or defend because it's, 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 or measure because it's measured and defended already. So, so, so and, and <coughs> it should be a common um, agreement between all of us I think this is very key. I mean, culture is made for overcoming conflicts, not for creating. Exactly. For create and overcome them. But the change of mindset then leads to, as you said, responsibility. I think we need more platforms of individual engagement. Also, their festivals they are a best practice. Let's use that force and and have these link more with these individual levels of, of responsibility and shape a sense of responsibility. We all invited to contribute to this process uh, within EFA. We take this, this responsibility and the, the modest this contribution might be, I think it's, it's important to take.